Hey guys, so just first off, um, hey cutie, uh, <laughs> sorry for the huge delay in today's update video and sorry for this hot mess of a look that I've got going on at the moment. I've been really sick today and all night last night so um, it took a while to be able to have the energy to post something. So um, firstly I'll just give you a little update and then secondly um, I wanted to have a talk about my whelping box. So first off, uh, Billy is same as yesterday, <laughs> absolutely no change, her temperature is 37 degrees and she's just absolutely the same. She was playing fetch today and she's definitely slower and not as keen to play but she, um, yeah, she's happy, healthy and doing good. I'm going to have a chat to the vet tomorrow just because today is the day after her like due date sort of a thing. So just gonna touch base with him again and be like hey when do you think these will get here um because i think that it's probably going to be closer to the weekend um she stopped kind of nesting and she wanted to sleep in her normal bed with brum tonight so i checked her temperatures and i made sure she was all doing good and she's just snuggled up to him so yeah nothing seems to be happening on that front now I wanted to talk about my whelping box because I thought that I had thought of this really genius idea of how to like make a super easy, super cheap DIY whelping box because I built mine myself. So I thought that if anyone out there is looking to make a DIY whelping box for really cheap and really easy, then this might help them. So um, I'm really sorry if this is really poor quality but it's like 1 o'clock in the morning or I don't know what time it is actually. I'm sure it's not that late. But yeah, it's, it's late at night or early morning um, and I am just sort of thought it would be interesting to some people because I definitely was looking at YouTube videos to try and figure out how to make one for myself when we found out that we were expecting puppies. So maybe this will help someone one day because I think that I've nailed it. But obviously if you see something wrong with my wealthy box, hit me up in the comments because I'm always looking to improve and um, definitely open to constructive criticism. But I think I've got a good one. I did a fair amount of research. Um, but yeah, I'll just jump into it. So I've tipped it on its side so you can properly see the bottom here. So you can probably get a good idea that this actually used to just be a coffee table. Um, so yeah, essentially this box is just a coffee table that I've put upside down. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, basically just get a coffee table, flip it over, and then get four pieces of wood, and then nail them to the legs. Um, if I were to do this again, I'd use a better quality piece of wood. I just used these four because I had them laying around, because they were the tops of pallets that I used for, an, I had from another project. So yeah, they were free, and I sanded them back, so they're not gonna injure her or, have any splinters or anything but they do look kind of ugly i've painted the front of that but that did chip off after i painted it so yeah it would just look better with a nice bit of wood but you can just get the tops of pallets if you are so inclined and then inside what i've done if you can see over here is just gotten some wood from the hardware store um and those were one meter long off cuts and I've just nailed them to the insides of the legs and crisscrossed them over. So I'll give you a better look at those. So as you can see down here, they're crisscrossed over. Um, so this is the pig rail. So if Billy rolls onto her side, she won't be able to roll flush up against the wall. And that way, if a puppy is laying behind her, she won't crush it to death. So yeah, that's about it. I would say that putting a liner down, we've just got plastic liners which have been dug up at the moment. So I think maybe like a liner or something if you put that down. Um, but yeah, the grooves we've got in here, I have flipped it upside down and then like puttied them up. So if liquids do go through, they won't get to the carpet. But um, all up, I spent $50 on the actual table and that was about two years ago. So we actually used it as a coffee table before um, we used it for this. And I got it off Gumtree. So I would recommend if you wanted to try doing this, look on Gumtree or I think in other countries you have like Craigslist or Trade Me and sites like that. 
or like a Facebook buy, swap and sell group or a huge coffee table like we've got or even a desk if you've got a smaller brie or a dining table as well would work and I think you can usually find one on Gumtree for free like there are a lot of dining tables you can find for free or under $50 so that's how much that cost me the boards I got for free but you could get those from your local hardware store or even look on Gumtree again for sort of like recycled wood um, make sure you sand it down though um, I don't know how much it would cost from your local hardware store um, but yeah definitely try the tops of pallets is what I use so you can definitely get those for free and then the pig rail that I built you can get that all of those four pieces I got for ten dollars so yeah um, all up it cost me sixty dollars um, I already had the nails and the hammer and all of that sort of stuff and the putty probably cost me another ten so about seventy dollars all up for my whirlpin box um, yeah the only issue is if you didn't have a jigsaw cutting out this section here might be a little bit tricky so you could either just use a normal saw and cut out like a square sort of hole um, it's completely up to you uh, I'm maybe just borrow a jigsaw I definitely just borrowed my dad's so yeah that's my welping box and I will insert some clips straight after this one of just how I have sort of like lined it um, and this is how I've lined it at the moment is just because she usually sleeps in it at night so it has got a nice fluffy bed in it and it's very soft so yeah I think that it's pretty good and very cost effective and I think it'll be very safe with the uh, pig rails that I've put in so if you have any comments or suggestions please let me know because I'm always interested to hear more um, and of course we do have this door section that hooks in here and there was a latch on but it came off so what I'm going to do is just put I do have some bits I had to cut off these pig rails so I'm just going to put one on one side and then one on the other on both sides there and there and then it'll just slot in so that all I need is just wood glue but I have to get some clamps off my brother so that I can like hold them on while the glue dries but yeah I won't really need that until the puppies are up and going so it's not hugely urgent at this stage um but yeah if you have any comments or suggestions please let me know and uh enjoy i hope that maybe this was helpful for you if you are going to have a litter of puppies and wanting to get a safe cheap and easy diy welcome box um i definitely took me like 15 minutes to make mine all together and um, it probably took me a little bit longer to put the pig rails in because I did that on a different day. So maybe like half an hour to an hour and then painting. But you don't have to paint it. That was just me being me. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it's not a video of puppies, but hopefully we get some soon.